Now this is the description of the cell division here. You can see different phases and you can see that from this prophase you can see the chromosomes are starting compacting and formation and then in the metaphase the main feature in the metaphase you can see this formation this formation of the spindle here and chromosomes this is mitosis so you can see all the, this is the spindle formation all and chromosomes are present on these microtubules here and here they are attached with their centromeres okay now you can see why i said metast why why i said this is a metaphase because on one spindle only one chromosome present in meiosis there is pair present two present in meiosis both chromosomes come here but here we see only one, one chromosome therefore it is metastasis this is a met uh, this is the mitosis now here this is anaphase you can see each chromosome is split into two half is moving here half is moving the other side and then now you can see that the chromosomes have completely moved and now the cell division has started so this is the telophase has started and now this cell has become two cells now let us see this in the real pictures here slides number 4.5 4.4 5.6 Four is this one. You can see this is spindle formation. So this is metaphase here. You can see this is. Yes. This is metaphase. Why? Because you can see the chromosome the tag on the spindle here. Oh, nice. Yes. This is spindle. This, this line is showing the spindle. So this is metaphase. So the identification is metaphase here. And then here you can see this early anaphase or anaphase is started. The same chromosomes has divided into two, and they are now they are moving towards the other poles. So this is anaphase early, and this is late. Now you can see the chromosomes have completely moved towards the opposite poles. So now they will make two cells like here. They have now made two cells. So remember this. This is the metaphase. How we identify this? Because we see spindle formation and metaphase plate, where chromosomes are attached on this plate. Okay. Why we say anaphase? Because we see that chromosomes have split now and they started moving towards the opposite pole. And why we say this complete anaphase? Because the the, the the chromosomes have moved completely towards the opposite poles, and now this is the telophase that is starting. Telophase, where the two cells from one cell, two cells have formed. And now here, the complete late. Phase where the two complete cells have formed. Okay, yes. Uh, should we differentiate between the late and early? Mm, yeah, if no, it's okay. Yeah, better. Okay. Now let's go to the. Metrophil. Hmm? Metrophil. Okay, what number? Three point four. Ah, this is enough. Now, what is the importance? Importance. For example, in this slide, I gave you a question. Identify this section. So what you will write? Early anaphase. You will say cell division, mitosis, anaphase. Okay. Then I may I put an arrow here. Identify this. Spindle. You will say the chromosomes are dividing. Yes. Or you say this. this spindle. Yeah, spindle is dividing. Dividing. Yes. Simple. May I may ask you what? How many chromosomes may be present here? Four. 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 Eh? Now you know yeah. how many chromosomes present in the. In a, meta, in a mitosis dividing cell, 46, 46. 46 chromosomes yeah. or the no. 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 double. Double. Yeah. Then become yeah. double. Yes. So what you will say? Four n. Four n. Yeah. Four n, or you say 92. This is the answer. These are the questions. So first thing is identify these structures to make a correct answer. First, you just identify correctly what is this. And then maybe a question regarding this. What is this? It's a metaphase. What is this? It's a spindle. What are these structures? They are chromosomes. What is this? This is anaphase. What are these? Dividing chromosomes. Okay? What is this? Telophase. Complete division. So remember like this. Okay? okay? Now. 3.48. 3.48. Where is the chapter 3? Here. Here. 
This one? What is this? Part two? No, part one. We have to do part one. Part two? Last figure is two. This one? No, part two. Where is part two? I don't see anything. Can you guide me where is the picture number here? Where she is? But where is the neutral here? You see? Don't smoke with the now this one. Now this is a blood picture, right? All of them are the RBCs here. But you are only concerned with this cell. This is a polymorph nuclear leukocyte or a neutrophil. Okay? It's also called polymorph. Why you call it polymorph? Because, because the nucleus is multilobular. It has too many lobes in the nuclei here. Maybe up to seven lobes. So one, three, one, two, three, four I can see here. One, two, three, four, five I can see here. And in between the lobes you can see very thin cell membrane. So this is very thin cell membrane connected. Lobes are connected together. Lobes are connected together. This is a polymorph nuclear leukocyte or the neutrophil. Now what you can be asked, what questions could be there, any questions regarding what type of granules does it have? You know, what type of granules? Neutrophil has three types of granules. They are called azeroflic granules. What are they called? Azeroflic granules. They, what color do they take? They take purple color. Purple. Purple color, okay? And what is present in the granules? You should know. There are three types. Primary, secondary and tertiary granules. What is present inside the granules? You should know them. This may be the question. You should know them. What is present inside the granules? What is present in the primary granules? What is present in the secondary granules? What is present in the tertiary granules? Which of them are the biggest? Biggest are the primary granules. There is some other picture also? Which is the azurophorus, right? Let us see some electron microscopic picture. See here. This is a neutrophil electron microscopic section. Now do you see these lobules? One, yeah. two, three, four, five lobules of the nucleus. It's all. Okay? And now do you see dense structures here? Yeah. This, this, this. You can see this is a primary granule. This is a, the big ones are the primary granules. And the small ones are the secondary granules. And tertiary granules are further smaller. So the biggest are the primary, primary. primary. then secondary then and tertiary. tertiary. What are present inside the granules? See in your book and remember them. Contents of primary granule, which enzymes, which enzymes in the secondary granule, which enzymes in the tertiary granule. Remember them please, okay? And what else you can see here? You can see a pseudopodia. Yeah. These pseudopodia are the, they are foot-like processes, finger-like processes. And with the help of the pseudopodia, the neutrophil moves. Neutrophil moves and does the function of phagocytosis, engulfs the foreign particles. Okay. With the, they, the pseudopodia are formed with the help of what? Because within the Neutrophil are present Microbes. the actin filaments. What is present? Actin filaments and intermediate filaments are also present there. With the help and microtubules are there. A lot of microtubules are there. So with the help of that, the neutrophil makes pseudo -podia. Number one. Number second. So this is a phagocytic cell. But what is special about neutrophil? The most special thing is about that neutrophil does not have much organelles. It doesn't have much organelles. organelles. Doesn't have much rough endoplasmic reticulum. Doesn't have much smooth. Doesn't have much Golgi. Therefore, whatever the enzymes or
granules are present once finished. Once they are finished, cell become dead. On the other hand, the other cells, for example, monocyte, for example, eosinophils, they have organelles, so they can continue to make enzymes. But they do not make enzymes. Therefore, once the cell uses the enzymes, it becomes dead, and now it is called as pus cell. What is called pus, pus cell? So when we see in the pus, we take pus from some wound. And we see dead neutrophils present, we call pus cells are present, means neutrophils become dead. It's clear? Yes. Sir. Okay. So the, they become pus cells after they die, they don't have much organelles within them, therefore they cannot replenish, they cannot restore the enzymes again. Clear? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, now let's come to the, what else is there? Now, see, this is an eosinophil here. Now, this is showing you an eosinophil. You can see this cell, all RBCs and eosinophil, and this is an electron microscopic view. Now, what is particular about this picture? Now, these are, you can see, eosinophil have, do you see these all small, small dots, purplish dots here, yeah. bluish? They all are granules. So isnophilic granules are big granules. They are big, big granules. And one thing is that these granules of isnophil, they show a particular phenomena which is called metachromasia. It's called metachromasia. Isnophil means what? Isnophil means what color? Pink or blue? Pink. No. Pink. 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 Isnophil means? Pink. Because is what is the color of the acidic dye? Pink. Eosin. Eosin dye is pink. But we see here blue granules. Because this is the characteristic of these granules. When they are, when they are mixed with some basic dye, they take which color? Blue color. So they change their color. Though they are which granules? Acidic granules. But they take which color? Blue, blue. blue color. This phenomena is called as metachromasia. So remember, isnophilic granules, they have a phenomena, a mechanism, when they change their color with basic dyes, and this is called as metachromasia. So you may have a question like that. Which of the following cell shows this metachromasia? And you may have neutrophil, basophil, basophil, neutrophil. Now you know the correct answer. You read the book, book also, right? Now, these granules, <coughs> isnophilic granules, this is the picture. These, most of the isnophil granules, you can see they are, they have a crystalloid shape. You can see this shape? They are known as crystalloid shape. They have electron dense. You can see this black dense. And within the dense, you can see this soft light shadow. Now these light, these granules are actually, they have enzyme granules here. So they have so many enzymes present inside and one of the important enzyme is histaminase. What? Histaminase. So histaminase is present here plus some other enzymes are also present. You need to know their name. Remember their name. See your book. Remember, for example, they also have enzymes which is called uh, isnophilic reacting substance, ERS. They also have, uh, you know, this dense structure is because of the, made up of a protein and this protein is called as major basic protein. What? Major basic protein. So major basic protein is related to which cell? Eosinophil. What it make in eosinophil? It makes the structure of this, these enzyme crystalloids or granules here, which are ovoid in shape. Big, big granules, ovoid in shape. They are made up of, the structure is made up of protein called major basic protein. And they have various enzymes. I told you one enzyme, name is histaminase, other is probably aryl sulfatase. Another enzyme called aryl sulfatase is there. So remember the names of the enzymes and the 
this structure of these granules and metachromasia. So this is an eosinophil pixel. Now, Lymphocyte? Lymphocyte? This is a lymphocyte? So this cell is a lymphocyte. Yes, yes. You can see this lymphocyte here. Now, what is the characteristic of the lymphocyte? That is a rounded cell. You can see a big nucleus. Nucleus is enormously big and the cytoplasm is only present at the margins or the periphery. This is the characteristic feature of the lymphocyte. Okay? Now, the rest is theory. You know how many types of lymphocytes? Two types. T lymphocytes, B lymphocytes. Okay? What are the features of the T lymphocytes? What is the function of T lymphocytes? What is the function of B lymphocytes? You should know them theoretically. You can have any question on this exam. Now, this, is this included? This is a monocyte. Is this included? Yes. So this is a monocyte. How do you identify a monocyte? This is again a big cell. But you can see that this big cell has a nucleus which is slightly indented. You can see a dent here. You know dent? Saddam. Accident. So dent is here. You know this dent is here. Or the nucleus may be kidney shape. For example, this dent is here. You can see this dent is here. So this dent is slightly dented or kidney shaped nucleus and the big cell, now this is the, the now theoretically you sh again should remember what? You should remember what enzymes are present here in the granules. What is the function? Monocyte is what type of cell? Is a phagocytic cell. Okay. When it goes into the tissue, this monocyte becomes macrophage. And you know macrophage is a phagocytic cell. So, remember theoretically the enzymes present in this cell and the structure which I told you, the identification features. Now you can see these granules. These are the granules of the monocyte. All granules of the monocyte. And enzymes. Remember the enzymes present in these granules plus mitochondria. It, the monocyte, difference in the monocyte and neutrophil, neutrophil cannot make enzymes. Monocyte can make Enzyme. enzymes. So it they has long. long duration of activity. It yes. can persist for long time to combat the infections and bacteria and viruses. It's clear? Yes. What others we have? 4.2. Four point Ah, okay, so connective tissue is here. It's collagen. Two. 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 Please. Now this is showing you. Now listen to me, please. Don't talk with one another. Now this picture is showing you the reticular or reticuline fibers. What? Hmm? Yeah, clothing, clothing. I have no idea, but whatever included no does. Just listen to me. This picture is showing you a type of connective tissue fibers. What are different type of connective tissue fibers? We have three type of fibers. Collagenous. We have collagen fibers, Reticular. we have elastin fibers, and, and we have reticular fibers. So this is the one type which shows you the reticular or reticuline fibers. Now this are this is all this all black. These these are the cells. These are the cells hepatocytes. This picture is from the liver. So these are hepatocytes. The all pink are the hepatocytes. And you can see that in between the hepatocytes, reticular fibers, they are making a network to support these cells, to hold these cells, okay? They are also known as type 3 collagen. What is known as? Type, type 3, three collagen. collagen. We have 
maybe hundreds of type of collagen, almost 40 type of collagen I know, 40 types. But this is called type 3. And remember, this is one of the very early type of collagen which is made. So in any tissue, the first very early collagen which is made is collagen type 3. This is a somewhat theoretical thing. Okay? So this collagen type 3, reticular fibers. Now, you what, what, what you can be asked? What, what question comes in your mind when you see this section? Define. Where this is present? Where it is present? Because this is, I told you, this is a type of supporting the cells. Therefore, it is always present in organs which have hypercellular or many cells, too much cells. Now, where the too much cells are present? In our bone marrow. You know, lot of RBC, WBC developing. So, it has in bone marrow, number one. In the endocrine glands, lot of cells mojud, mo making hormones. Yes. Then in the lymph, lymph nodes, lot of lymphocytes present. We need something to support lymphocytes. So in the lymph, in the lymph nodes, in liver, in spleen, these are the organs which are hypercellular organs. So this type of connective tissue yes, no, is no, present no, there. No. Okay, just remember. Okay. It is not here, but I am telling you, right? No, uh, there is liver. And, uh, liver, spleen, and lymph node, and endocrine glands, okay? Now... That other question can be asked. No, I told you. What is this? What is this? What is your answer? They are the reticular fibers, number one. What type of tissue it is? Connective tissue, collagen type 3, where it is present. What is its function? Support. Connective tissue support. Okay? What is the other thing? Yeah, now this one. This is a... Now this picture is showing you a loose connective tissue. This is showing you a section of loose connective tissue. Why I say loose? Because you can see the fibers running in all directions. Okay? And they are not much fibers. There is much space mojoon. Makan Kabir. Okay? So you can see space is much here. And fiber. You can see this fiber going like this. Fiber going like this. Fiber going like this. You can see fibers here going like this. But too much space is present. And within the space I can see two cells here. And one big blood capillary. So this is a loose connective tissue. Now these straight fibers are elastic fibers. Which fibers? Yes. Elastic yes. fibers. Because collagen fibers are thick. We can do, we do see some collagen fibers here, for example here. But these dark fibers like straight lines, they are, they are all elastic fibers. And this one big structure is a capillary. And these two cells are the mast cells present. They are mast cells. Now, you should remember that what are the cells of connective tissue? Keep in your mind, connective tissue means what? Connective tissue means fibers, cells and ground substance. Clear? Three features. If any tissue has these three features, we call this connective tissue. If it has fibers, if it has cells and ground substance. So what are the cells of the connective tissue? Now you should remember, there are two headings, fixed cells and wandering cells or circulating cells. What are the fixed cells of the connective tissue which are always present? Mast cells and macrophages. And macrophages. And what are the roaming cells? Cells means which come and go again into blood. They come, they see and go again. What are these cells? The other cells, the, the, the white blood cells, for example, the neutrophils, for example, the basophils, the esophils, they come, they just take around and go again, into, enter again into the blood. But these macrophages and mass cells, they are Six. present, they are, they are fixed cells. Clear? So remember that, the fixed cells, the bone ring cells, and... For, and another cell is plasma cell, for example. The, the lymphocytes. The lymphocytes, when they become big, they produce antibodies called plasma cells. 
So same, they come, they take around, they again enter. So remember these cells, fixed cells and roaming cells or wandering cells. Remember their name, okay? What are the different fibers of the connective tissue? I told you, elastic fiber, collagen fiber, reticular fiber. And the ground substance, okay? So this is a loose connective tissue showing you elastic fibers. Now, what organs in our body have elastic fibers? Just one. You should remember. Now, just think normally the organs which are which are expendable. So, lung is the one. Okay. The blood vessels, the blood vessels have this minor content and heart, not heart. Yes, heart also have in the subendocardium. Yes, but mainly which organs have the elastic organs? So, so remember one thing: the organs which have elasticity. For example, the lung. Bladder, yes, yes. urinary bladder, yes, urinary bladder. What about muscles? Muscles, no. Muscles contract. They don't have elasticity. They contract. Okay? Yes. Now, Doctor, if we ask to identify this uh, picture, what is the answer? If you write loose connective tissue, correct. If you write connective tissue with elastic fibers, correct. If you write elastic tissue, correct. Correct. All correct. Okay? But if you ask me what should I write, I will write loose connective tissue. Because, because it is mixed, it also has collagen fibers, it has elastic fiber, it is a blood capillary, all. Don't go to this heading. <laughs> now this picture... No, no. No? No. Come back, give me a slide. Hmm? Come back, give me a slide. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, slide, slide. Come back. Yeah. Ah, this is this picture is showing you. This is an electron microscopic view of a fibroblast. What is this? A big fibroblast. Now remember, when I said cells of the connective tissue, one of the cell of the connective tissue is fibroblast, and this fibroblast is the cell which makes the connective tissue. Fibroblast is the cell which makes the connective tissue. Collagen fibers made by fibroblast. Elastic fibers made by fibroblast. Reticular fibers made by fibroblast. All type of connective tissue fibers made by the fibroblast. Number one. Ground substance is also made by fibroblast. So fibroblast is one and the main cell of the connective tissue. Okay. Now here in this section. We see, this is again a section from a connective tissue. I can see this is a fibroblast and outside the fibroblast you can see the connective tissue. This is all collagen. These are all collagen fibrils. All collagen fibrils. These dark, dark spots are collagen fibrils. These longitudinal lines are also collagen fibrils. And this is a fibroblast. Inside the fibroblast you can see a nucleus. You can see a nucleus and within the nucleus you can see what is the main type of the chromatin here? Euchromatin. Do you see this? Yes. White, white, white. This all white is a active chromosomes, active DNA, which is making more fibers and you know ground substance. And then you can see inside endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria. You can see Golgi apparatus. But this all is collagen, which is outside, and this is from a connective tissue. But this is mainly a fibroblast. It's clear. So, remember, what is fibroblast? It is a connective tissue cell. Okay. What are its function? It makes fibers. It makes ground substance. Okay. Where it is present? In the connective tissue. It's clear? Yes. This is again a fibroblast. You can see? This fibroblast. This is a real picture. A section from the tissue. You can see. The fibroblast, the, round, the nucleus is not flattened, it's more or less rounded nucleus. This may be an active fibroblast. So you can see the rounded nucleus here present towards the center here. You can see. And yeah, and they are involved in making ground substance and fiber. We don't see much fibers here, but mainly we see ground substance present here. But this is a fibroblast. So they identify fibroblast? Identify fibroblast. All of them are fibroblasts. See, the micrograph 
What does, can anybody read this? Yeah. Read loudly. Connective tissue. So this is loose connective tissue and within the loose connective tissue we can see fibroblasts, mature fibroblasts which are present and the nucleus is N, the small quantity of cytoplasm is mostly occupied by the rough endoplasm. We can't see any rough endoplasmic reticulum here, but what we see? We see big rounded nucleus which are present here, 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 and in some of them even we see nucleolus, and simply we see spaces which says that there is a loose connective tissue. If more fibers present, less space present, dense connective tissue. If more space is present, loose connective tissue. It's clear? Again, fibroblasts are present here, you can see. This is a dense connective tissue. Pra pra this is a pra primitive mesenchyme. Now, what is mesenchyme? Anyone can answer me what is mesenchyme? In our book itself is it here, uh, ma mature fibroblasts, and this primitive mesenchyme. Yes, it's written and... Uh, so this is fibroblasts? Yes, and this is mesenchyme. This is mesenchyme, okay. Okay. okay, so here, these are also fibroblasts. Remember, if it is mesenchyme or whatever, but these cells are what cells? Fibroblasts, remember. Now, what is mesenchyme? Anyone can tell me what is mesenchyme? Not functional cells. They are... Mesenchyme. They are after... Uh, immature connective tissue, you can say. This is connective tissue. Which type of connective tissue? Immature or embryonic connective tissue. Primitive connective tissue. It's called as mesenchyme. It's after the... The basic... After yes? the undifferentiated uh, mesenchymal cell? No, no. The basic characteristic of mesenchyme is that it is loose. What? Loose. It is loose tissue. So, it, if it is a loose tissue, mainly in the, during the development in the embryo, the first tissue is formed mesenchyme. What is formed? Mesenchyme. And then within the mesenchyme, the different tissues that develop. Okay. So, mesenchyme is a actually loose embryonic connective tissue, we can say, or loose primitive connective tissue, we can say. So, here... But this, what are the cells? Cells are the fibroblasts. Remember, so these are the fibroblasts which are mainly present here. Now here it says, these are you can see, this is a connective tissue. Again, I can say that this is a dense connective tissue. I cannot see much spaces here. And these cells are the fibroblasts. You can see the new, you can only recognize them because of the presence of the nuclei. So these are the fibroblasts which are present and this is a dense connective tissue. Yes? Four points. Thirteen. Yes, yes. This one? Yes. Yes. <coughs> yes, if you have any question, just ask me now. Yeah. Uh, the addition of this. Which is addition? Fifth. I have no idea. This is a very old CD with me. But it's the fifth. Uh, the difference in the numbers? No, Maybe. Yeah, it's the fifth one. It's the fifth one. It says fifth edition. Fifth difference. Yeah. Yeah. The there may be some difference. No, I right. I make, I make, no, I didn't. I told you this is primitive mesenchyme. Both are primitive I, I corrected mesenchyme. this, that this is primitive mesenchyme. This is the same picture? And yeah, but yeah. This is primary. Uh, go, don't go to the heading. What I tell you, just remember that. Okay. I told you this is primary mesenchyme. These are all fibroblasts. And I told you this is loose tissue because we don't have much ground substance, which have much fibers here. Okay? So follow me. Don't follow the heading here. Yeah. What I say, I say these are all the primary mesenchymal cells, which are again fibroblast-like cells. So you can say they are the fibroblast-like cells. They have, you can see the central nuclei here, prominent. And there's much space, therefore it is loose. Doctor, mesenchymal cell are next, other name for fibroblast cell? No. I don't want to confuse you, but, but since you asked me, so I give you answer now. Mm. Remember, 
mesenchyme means loose tissue. Remember one thing. Mesenchyme means loose, loose, loose tissue. tissue. Most of the mesenchyme develops from mesoderm. From where? Mesoderm. And the mesodermal cells usually in the loose tissue they develop into fibroblast. So you get the point. The point. Therefore, mesenchymal cells develop into fibroblast. But they also develop into muscle cell. They also develop into bone cell. More but in the connective tissue. tissue, in the connective tissue, mesenchymal cells develop into fibroblast only. So you can say that these are the fibroblast-like cells. What you can say? Mesenchymal cells or fibroblast-like cells. Remember, on the other hand, on the other hand, ectoderm and endoderm, two layers, they mainly develop into epi. Heliums. Remember. What? Epitheliums. For example, endoderm develops into epithelium of GIT. Epithelium of respiratory system. Epithelium of urinary bladder. Ectoderm develops into epithelium of skin. Epithelium of nervous system. So remember this. The ectoderm and mesoendoderm develops mainly into which tissue? Epithelial, Epithelial tissue. And mesenchyme mainly develops from Epithelial. mesoderm. And mesenchymal cells therefore mainly develop into which type of connective tissue cell? Fibroblast. Okay. Clear confusion? Yes. This is, these cells are fibroblast-like cells. This is a dense connective tissue. Okay? And remember, the cells here now. What is the difference in mature and mature fibroblast? What is it? What is a mature fibroblast? See? Mature. Mature fibroblast. It says a mature fibroblast. But it's not included. This one is not. Okay. Okay. Did you leave it? Okay. I can explain. Go here. Which is included? Next one. No. Next one. Here. Yes. This one. So you can see here. This is what blood. I can see some blood here. So this picture is probably from some wound. This is from some wound. And here you can see these are all fibroblasts. And these fibroblasts are active fibroblasts in making protein. That's it. They are involved in making wound healing. They are repairing the wound. You know, when there is some damage to the skin, the damage is repaired by what? Fibroblast. Skin is repaired by skin cells. But the connective tissue repaired by the fibro blast. So you can see here, I can see some blood, blood vessels maybe. Therefore, and these all are the fibroblasts. And this probably they are involved, they are active, they are big, their size increased. They have, you can see the rounded, this nucleus present in the center. The cells you can see, they are, you know, they have tapering ends here. And they are involved in repairing this wound. It's clear? Yes. So this is a picture showing you fibroblast with much less fibers, more space and they are involved, they are active since they are making, yeah. they are repairing a wound. Okay. Clear? Yes. Yes. Uh, fibroblast and myofibroblast. Sometimes what happens? The fibroblast normally present in the connective tissue. But when there is a wound, now these fibroblasts develop a contractile function. They develop more actin and filaments and now they have a power of contraction. So they develop, they become myofibroblasts. And these myofibroblasts, they are mainly responsible for contraction of wound. You know, initially when there is repair, wound is big. But after some time, wound becomes small. Because of the myofibroblast, they contract and they make the wound small. So, what is the difference now? Can you answer me? That the fibroblast, they develop more actin filaments within them and they develop a contractile part. Okay? What next? The next one. Down. Down? Yeah, there is nothing. Okay. Now we come to the adipose tissue. This is white right, adipose tissue. No, not this one. The one before. The one before? Yes. 414. 
this one. A. A. Now this A. all A, B, C, A. all A. is, A. A. this A. are this A. the same picture, these all are fat cells. Now you can see the fat, these are the fat cells. In this picture, I can't see any nuclei. So most of the are the cells, but in this, in this section I can see some of the nuclei. You can see this nuclei here. You can see this nucleus here. You see this picture here, condensed structure. So these cells of the fat cells, they have a very typical appearance where these cells are big, they develop the fat particles small and these fat particles later on, they fuse together, they may, be, they may become big fat, parti big fat particles and cytoplasm is pushed towards the periphery here and the nucleus is also pushed towards one end here. So it gives an appearance like a khatam, ring. You call ring? Yeah. Yes. So this, these cells are called as signet ring appearance. Signet ring appearance. So the cells, fat cells, what is their shape? They are more like a ring. The nucleus is pushed towards one side. You can see the nucleus is pushed towards one side. And the cytoplasm is mainly present at the boundaries only. You can see pink boundaries. These pink boundaries are because of the cytoplasm and cell membrane only. Now these fat cells, they mainly doesn't have much mitochondria. They, much ha they don't have much mitochondria. On the other hand, we also have red brown fat cells. You know brown fat cells? They have, more. They, have, they have much, much more mitochondria. Remember, I, I tell you again, these are white fat cells. White fat cells, they have much, not much mitochondria. Yeah. So how they use the energy? By fat. Uh, fat particles heat. or the glycogen particles, yeah. whatever. But the energy is, you know, mainly anaerobic pathway. You know, aerobic pathway yeah. where we use mitochondria. And anaerobic pathway. Yeah. Where, so mainly they are using anaerobic pathway. They are also having, you know, fat cells. What is their characteristic? You know, nucleus, so what are the characteristics? Nucleus is at the periphery. Cytoplasm is at the periphery. They are having fat particles which combine together and they make a big fat particle. Okay? These are the white fat cells. Now, do you have any brown fat picture included? No. Okay, I will just show you. This is a brown fat. Do you see? These are the brown fat cells. They are full studded with the mitochondria and because of these mitochondria they take which stain? They take brown stain. So they become brown appearance. So brownish appearance because of the lot of mitochondria present here. So they are mainly utilizing aerobic pathway of utilizing of the energy formation. This one. Is this included? No, no. no. Oh, oh, 18. 18? Yes. 18. Yes. Uh -huh. Eighteen. This, this. Yeah. Back, back. Down. Down. Eighteen. Yeah. This one. This. Here and the down. A and Both Okay. Now this you can see mast cells. Yeah. This is again a connective tissue picture from a connective tissue. Shh, shh, shh. Connective tissue showing you mast cells present here. Now, this there's nothing much for this picture here. Only you can say there are mass cells, there are big cells which are present here. And this is an electron microscopic view. Now, what you have to remember? You have to, you have to remember about, again, same questions. What is present in the in granules of the mass cells? So, mass cells are mainly have, these are the cells of the allergic reaction. Okay. What is their precursor cell? Basophils. You know? So when the basophils, they come into the connective tissue, they become the mast cells. And the mast cell granules have mainly which enzymes? You should know that. They have which enzyme? Histamine. They have mainly histamine. And they have slow reacting substance of the, you know, what is this called? 
Serotonin is also there. Yeah. Heparin is also there. So histamine and heparin is present in the granules of the mast cell. Remember that. Mainly. And what other things you know? They have big, big granules. You can see this? Granules are big granules. Oh, no, no small granules you can find. All granules are dense, big granules. Histamine, heparin, slow reacting substance of the... What is that called? One thing. Slow reacting substances, something like allergic slow reacting substances. They are present here and they are mainly the connective tissue Analyst, cells. Anal so remember they and they, the degranulation is mainly in response to allergic, allergic reactions. Reaction. In response to allergic reactions they degranulate, they release their content and histamine is a main vasodilator. Vaso yes. So as soon as the histamine is released, there is vasodilatation, yes. dropping of the blood pressure, edema. and edema and everything. Okay. So remember this, that these are the mast cells, they are the connective tissue cells, press fixed cells. What is they have? They have enzymes, and these enzymes, they can name, remember their names. Anything else besides this? Last one. Macrophage. Macrophage. This is, yes. No, no, no. What was the comparison between uh, mast cell and vasopharynx? This is, there may be a theoretical question, but not for, in the exam, no, not in the hospital. Their size of granules is different. They have big granules, they have small the granules. Their contents are different, so you remember the difference. The origin. Origin. Origin yeah, is almost it's in the, the same. Connective tissue, hmm? when it's in they are in the connective tissue, they are in the blood right. circulation. Okay, now this is a macrophage. Macrophage origin monocyte. This is a phagocytic cell which is present in the connective tissue. This cell also has a special feature that it is an antigene presenting cell. Yeah. It is a antigene anti presenting cell. What does this mean? This means that the, uh, this phagocytose an antigen and then this antigen is presented to the killer cells to or to the you know the lymphocytes okay mainly and then lymphocytes they recognize this antigen whether this belongs to body or from the outside and then they develop a reaction against this antigen. So the macrophages are the antigen cells. Now this picture has been taken after from the skin after a person was injected with some dye color mm. like you know you yes. stain with sometimes you write your name here right yes. so when you write you know sometimes the 